Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and today Leonardo is going to repair a charging dock flex cable type C. And to make things more complicated, we are going to replace it with the help of a hot air gun. The air temperature that we are going to use is 340 Celsius degrees. So there are no excuses for tools default. A hot air gun from AliExpress is very cheap, even less of $10. I'll try to leave it in the description some links from where to buy it. The truth is that all of us, we've started using inexpensive tools and then, little by little, we have invested money in professional tools. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, it's so important for us to increase our community and have more visibility. Thank you. Since we cannot regulate the volume of air of the hot air gun, it's better to protect the components. If I were to use an air hot station, I wouldn't protect anything. To protect the components, we use a plastic card with double Kepton tape atop. We let the heat escape on the back of the plastic card. In less than 30 seconds, we have the charging connector out. Seems easy, right? We'll use the microscope to check the result. Everything seems fine. Even in this way, we can recycle the charging connectors. We lower the temperature to 200 Celsius degrees to remove the resin. To remove the old solder lid, we apply a little bit of flux and low temperature solder paste. With the tip of the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees, we thin the pads. Practically, we mix a solder lid with a melting point of 220 Celsius degrees with another solder lid with 138 Celsius degrees point of melting. 
In this way, we get lower the working temperature. We clean the area using the desoldering wick and the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees. The pads look like this. It's time to apply some flux and thin the pads. We can use solder wire or solder paste. We clean the area using a piece of cotton and contact cleaner. We can also use the isopropyl alcohol. We apply flux to improve the soldering and we place the charging connector. With the help of the microscope, we'll check the result. I recommend you to use a good solder lead 6337 and with a good amount of flux in. It will make your work much easier. We are going to solder the four pins from the upper part. We apply a little flux and using the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees. Next, I will teach you how to solder well any component of the motherboard. The trick is to heat the two surfaces that we are going to solder at the same temperature. To do this, we have to sustain the tip of the soldering iron and count 3 seconds. Then, we apply solder wire. In this way, the solder lid will melt well. This is the rule to solder any component of the motherboard. One, two, and three. One, two and three. One, two and three. Let's check our work. Guys, I'm Adriana and this was today's video that we present with the help of Leonardo. See you soon. Greetings.